pretty happy Friday, Junior. Meteorologist Dave Downey here. Uh, had that rain snow mix early on Thursday morning. Uh, there were some pretty impressive snow totals in far eastern Iowa. Uh, 0.1 inches is what the airport got. A couple inches in southern Iowa, southeastern Iowa. Uh, anyways, much nicer after today. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, all dry. Warming trend begins tomorrow. Highs in the mid-30s on Friday. Be up close to 50 on Monday. Uh, so we're above average every day until next Thursday. And then there's still a couple different shots of rain and snow next week. There's that system moving out of the state right now. Still some rain snow mix in the Quad Cities just after 4 o'clock. Weak kind of cold front feature. Kind of just a, we call a trough axis here. A very, I mean, maybe some light snow showers around this evening. Nothing of big consequence. Speaking of big consequence, nine inches is what Dubuque got this morning, and that all came in four hours between 8 a.m. and noon. So that is a two and a quarter inch per hour snowfall rate in Dubuque. So we kind of got lucky compared to what they got. Three inches in Lamona, inch and a half in Oskaloosa, a few inches also uh, in Cedar Rapids. Uh, first snow um, in February, tenth of an inch in Des Moines. Yeah, I don't know where winter went. Maybe it'll come back next week. It's kind of back tonight. Lows in the teens, single digits to the northwest. Wind chills will drop in the single digits for pretty much everybody overnight tonight. That wind picks up. Gusts 25, 30 miles per hour. Uh, but then throughout the day Friday, especially in the Saturday, actually, excuse me, throughout the day tomorrow on Friday, the wind's back off. The wind returns during the day on Saturday. Highs have been trending up. Uh, for Friday, the past couple of days, because there's really no snowpack here across central Iowa. You can see notice will be colder in eastern Iowa, where they did get some noticeable snow uh, this morning. Winds decreasing throughout the day on Saturday, pretty much calm winds overnight, Friday night into Saturday. Nothing but blue skies uh, throughout the day. Winds will kind of peak this evening, then they'll gradually kind of back off heading into tomorrow morning. Uh, very light winds tomorrow afternoon. Uh, then the winds kind of reappear again on Saturday, Saturday afternoon, gusts between 20 and 25 miles per hour. Nothing but sunshine again on Saturday. Saturday is arguably the nicest day, excuse me, second nicest day uh, behind Monday. A few more clouds on Sunday. Can almost take the TV outside for Super Bowl Sunday. All right, Monday, we're kind of fast forwarding future cast here. This is Monday at noon. Lots of sun yet again on Monday highs. I think we get to 50 in Des Moines on Monday. Uh, the next system to watch, kind of starting in a similar location in Oklahoma, but it takes a bit of a different track, a further west track, the one we just saw, the system we just saw, kind of went through Quincy, Illinois, and kind of peeled off to the east here. This one's going to go pretty much right over the state, right over Des Moines. We're going to be in the warmer side of this, the milder side. This looks like all rain next Tuesday afternoon and evening. And there could be another system behind that one that could impact us on Thursday. That is still a week out, but that is one we're going to have to monitor. That could be a snowmaker uh, on Thursday next week. Decreasing clouds tonight, still windy, gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Less wind on Friday afternoon. Whole plumbing and heating 10 day forecast. The breeze returns a little bit there on Saturday. Monday, I think we get well into the 50s in the south of I 80, so in southern Iowa. We'll go 49 in Des Moines for now. I wouldn't be surprised if Brandon ups that to 50 tomorrow morning. Uh, then we have that rain chance Tuesday. Wednesday is kind of the transition day before the next snow chance could arrive a week from today.